Okay, finally we arrived to Tanzania. How are you? Everything yeah. ready? Yes, everything. Prepared? Right. Sure. Uh, the instruments are okay, you know, probably at the customs. Yes. So no, no issues. Instruments. We are ready, we are strong. Yeah. Uh, now I think we go to the, um, to the hotel. To the hotel first, and then go to the um, hospital yeah. yes. to check the basis for tomorrow. Sure. Um, Check that everything is okay and tomorrow the master class. First time in Tanzania, right? Yes, we are really honored to. You are happy? You are very happy. Me You're too. welcome. Great. Yes, we'll meet the rest of the team. As sure. We go. Yes. Let's go. You are welcome to Tanzania. Tanzania, a beautiful country with a population of nearly 62 million people, being the largest country in East Africa including around 120 different African tribal groups. Cardiothoracic surgeons in the country never perform minimally invasive thoracic surgery. So after they contact us, we decided to organize a masterclass with the support of Rich Surgical and our foundation in order to teach them the uniportal bath technique. After arrival to the Muhumbili Hospital, we made the director and we explain the aim of our foundation and our mission in Tanzania, basically to teach local surgeons and to help as many patients as possible. The instruments, in each instrument, so that they will remember us. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, so it's our pleasure because we want to motivate people here to start oh, minimally invasive uh, things. So we are at Muhumbili Hospital, ready for the master class. Hey, patients are ready? Yes, ready. patients are ready. You go to the operation room? Yes. We have the staplers? Yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Rich, we have the support of Rich, very happy. Yes, we are very And happy. it's time to go to the bar, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, we have three cases? Yes. Let's see. Okay, Thank let's go. You. Thank you. Where is the bar, there? Yes. Okay, go. So we're gonna start the master class here in uh, Tanzania, Dar es Salaam, the capital, Muhammili Hospital. 
And the first case is a six-year-old uh, girl with a big cyst, a big mass, cystic mass located in the uh, subcranial area. We are going to remove it with the portal bath, a small incision. Otherwise, this patient will be maybe operated by a big thoracotomy, so I think we are going to give the chance to her to to be uh, performed by a small incision. So maybe tomorrow, or after tomorrow, she can go home with a small scar. We are going to start the surgery, the first minimal invasive operation in the country, right? Yes. First time. First time. Nothing was done before. Even a virus, nothing. Yeah? Yes. Right? Yes. But it's the first time I've ever done. Yes. In that time. Historic moment. Selective intubation was not possible, so we decided to place a conventional tracheal tube. For this reason, and thinking it was a cyst, we decided to perform initially a three small incisions by using CO2. However, after entering into the chest cavity, we saw a big apical and paratracheal mass making impossible the mobilization by this approach. We decided then to convert to uniportal vats in order to resect the tumor, and we did surgery with the right ventilating all time. The first minimal invasive case in Tanzania. Yes. Very challenging. So, Victor, we finished the case. A uh, very difficult case. It was the first case ever done minimally invasively in Tanzania. Uh, uh, a girl, six year old, very, very small girl, with a big tumor. And it was interesting because we thought it was a cyst, a bronchogenic cyst on the CT scan. But because the CT scan was with no contrast, so we all were wrong. Yes. And then when we entered inside, surprise, a uh, big tumor, very big. And the problem was that the patient was uh, not intubated or selectively. So we have the lamp ventilated all the operation, and it was very difficult. Stuck to the SVC, stuck to the sargos vein, stuck to the trachea, stuck to the sulcus. We were close to convert to thoracotomy, but finally we didn't give up. So we are happy. Absolutely. Good job. My good assistant did a good job. So we are now at the Mujumbili Children's Hospital. Hey, my friend, we are going to give some gifts some balloons donated by, from La Liga Foundation, and also some t-shirts from our foundation, okay. Diego Gonzalo Rivas Foundation. We are going to give to the children in the hospital. Okay, let's go. So we are going to do the next case, it's aspergilloma, you see in the apex, it's a difficult aspergilloma in the upper part, but maybe the rest of the lung is not bad, so we have only some problems in the apical part, I hope.
we finished the second case, it was a right upper lobectomy uh, because there was an aspergillum on the right upper lobe. There were additions in the apex. So what do you think about the operation? Do you enjoy? This was the best and the shortest one. It was quick, eh? It was very quick. <laughs> we enjoyed the additions and everything. With a small, small entry point, well, that's Uniporto. Uh, it was really quick. What do you think this is important for Tanzania, first time? It's eh? very, very important and uh, economically and, it, and uh, scientifically sound. Yes. It's the first time in, in Tanzania, minimally invasive, this, this is the first, first lobectomy. This is the first lobectomy done minimally invasive in Tanzania. By VATS. By VATS. Are you happy? In the uni, Uniporto fashion. Fantastic. Great, my friend. I'm happy that everything... Great, man. Great. So let's ready for the third case. As you can see here in the video, there is a rib, broken rib, inside the chest, inside the lung, that is uh, been here since 10 years. Really amazing case, very unique case. Let's see what we find inside. So the third case is a very interesting case. It's a 20-year-old uh, woman that uh, 10 years ago, she had a trauma on the chest. She broke ribs, and one of the ribs is uh, insert, inserted into the lung since 10 years. So it's causing, uh, you know, cough, chronic cough, shortness of breath, and we are gonna try to help her uh, solve this situation by minimal invasive surgery. Let's see what happened. It is hard to believe how this young woman was living and suffering during 10 years with a reef perforating her. Yes, thank you. Paper failed due to the lung thickness and it was stuck to the lung. Thoracoscopic lung was placed below the stapler line and the lung was divided manually to remove the stapler with scissors that was blocked. The lung was repaired with a running manual suture and the line expanded very well at the end of the operation with no leak and no complication. We finished the operation finally, despite all the difficulties, the stapler fell, but we removed the rib inside the upper lobe and we repaired the upper lobe and we, cons we preserved half of the upper lobe. So we didn't want to remove the upper lobe in a young woman. So we are happy, we did through a small incision. Thoracic surgeon Dr. Diego Gonzalez Rivas, in collaboration with Muhimbili National Hospital, has successfully operated on three people who had lung related diseases using modern minimally invasive thoracic surgery. The Director of Surgical Services of Muhimbili National Hospital, Dr. Rachel Muhavile, says the surgery helps the patient to recover quickly and resume his duties within a short period. So after finishing the case at Wuhan Billy Hospital, we are going to start now the trip to Kilimanjaro. It is 4.40 a.m. We are gonna fly in 20 minutes to Kilimanjaro for a five-day tour, and we are gonna climb till the top. So I hope we will succeed. This beautiful country is the home of Mount Kilimanjaro. Standing almost 6,000 meters above the sea level, this mountain is the tallest in Africa and the highest freestanding mountain in the world. 
For this reason, we decided to start an adventure of five days to climb the Kilimanjaro to the summit. After reach the top, name the peak. The name of the people of Solomon at that time, somebody picks up on the six hours. So that was the record. So he climbs to Umbalut, up to the top, Umbalut. Let's go! Kilimanjaro is waiting. So we are ready for Kalimanjaro. Yeah. We are ready for Kili. Kili Kili. Akuna Matata. Pole pole. So we are ready to climb the Kilimanjaro. Yeah. <laughs> ready, let's go. Let's go. So we are almost near the camp. Yeah. Only oh, one hour walking. We are ready for the second day of the Kilimanjaro. Ready for the second day uh -huh, yes, of the tour? Yes, what we are going to do today? Uh, today we are going to Horombo. Horombo. Horombo is uh, 11 kilometers from here. 11? 11 kilometers and uh, it's, a, it's a different zone. It's a Hesta and a Moonland zone. So okay. today we are going to third zone of the mountain, what we call Hesta and a Moonland zone. So that zone, they like the short trees. So sun will be direct sun. to us. Oh, will be a sunny day. There is no many Hot trees. day. Yes. Uh, and uh, we'll see the view of the Kibo Peak and the oh, Mwenzi Peak. Beautiful. So great. today it will be a very great day for us. Excellent. And uh, also, Excellent. it will be like that. Great. Yes, so it will be a good day. Do you like yes. the t-shirt? I like, yes, it's good. Yeah. But, uh, it's, <laughs> I like this foundation because it's help, uh, it's help us. Mr. Diego make the history of our country. To help people yes, around the world. people in the world. That is a beautiful thing. I like this foundation. Great, right. thank you, yes. brother. Let's yeah. go, let's go. <laughs> let's go. You cannot upload. Ah. Oldman Bear, nickname. The name is Olinchos, but mm. nickname is called Oldman Bear. It's a combination of uh, fungi and moss. That's why you get this one. So when you get old, you'll have this one. Huh?
how we do, man. We are ready for the third day, third climbing. To Kilimanjaro? Yes, we are now at the Orombo Hut, almost 3,000 meters high. Oh, sorry, almost 4,000 meters high. Yes, the uh, altitude. Altitude. Yeah. I, I, and then uh, we are going to have a hard day as well. Because but, we need to climb to the 3.7 thousand meters. 4.7. Four. Ah, because of altitude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four point seven. Yes, yes. Thousand yes. meters. So we need to go. Yes. last part of the climbing was the hardest due to the accumulated fatigue and the altitude. Yeah. 
la vaca! Good job, good job, good job, guys. Good. I'm drinking water to be hydrated. We are almost in the summit, very near, and everything is going well. Yes, I think it will be better. We are, we are enjoying a wonderful view. After seven hours of climbing, we reached the first peak. And we delighted an astonishing sunrise an unforgettable moment. So finally, we reached the top of the Kilimanjaro. We are now at the Gilman's point, and we are going to go to the Uru, the highest point in Africa. At this level, there were only just 200 meters left to reach the highest point, but this was the hardest part of the adventure that took more than three hours. We reached the highest point. So this is my place. So we just finished the climbing to Kilimanjaro. It was very successful, very hard, but very beautiful and amazing experience. Uh, after going down, we took some food and then we walk three hours and a half to Orombo camp. And now we are here waiting with our friend Thomas, who is the leader of the expedition and also the, the owner of the company. What's the name of the company? Killing Adventure. Killing Adventure. So what do you think about the trip? How was the trip? Was it good? The trip was so good. It was a pleasure to be with you guys to be with famous people. Mm, that is the first time to host famous people like you. So it's be, uh, it's, it's, it was a pleasure to me to be with you. Yes, I'm so happy to finish this very well and uh, you, you appreciated everything. So I'm so happy about that. Great. So we will recommend everyone to come to Kilingi Adventure to book their activities to climb the Kilimanjaro, the best company in Tanzania.